audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person. Now Leo, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you like. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition Leo because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation over the time could possibly go, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now Leo, if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonates because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you find a card that resonates Leo, I would really appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I always appreciate it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Leo, this reading's here just to give you some perspective for this week, right? A perspective to consider, some food for thought as you go throughout this week, but I'm not here to make a decision in your life. So let's just get into this reading with all that in mind. Um, I already pulled some cards for your overall energy for this week, uh, Leo, when it comes to this person. I have three cards for you guys, actually. Uh, you got two animal cards. Uh, one is the antelope spirit, life is speeding up, number two. So write down number two for numerology, first and foremost, Liam. Uh, but this is just more so like a good omen. Um, I would kind of associate this card, Leo, as the, with kind of like the chariot, almost. That's kind of uh, the kind of sensation that I get. So and dare I say, perhaps, there's going to be a couple of reasonings behind this message as to why this antelope spirit came out in the first place for you, Leo. <clears throat> the first one being, I feel like it came out more so to let you know, because maybe perhaps you guys have been in like a little bit of a rut, or you feel like there's been like a little bit of a stalemate when it comes to this connection, uh, right? And so if you've been having some issues with that, don't mind my cat, <laughs> by the way. Um, if you've been having some anxiety over that, don't worry about it. But then it's because it's there's still, I definitely see some type of action happening this week um, when it comes to this connection, a perspective uh, really going to shift for you when it comes to this. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Leo. Ah, um, the other reasoning for this message, though, could be for a different part. You have the snow leopard come, which says, take some time out of your usual life and spend it in some solitude. So this would be like that meditation card. There would be that card of finding yourself, right? Uh, and you probably are getting this card just because it's like you don't want to like take that time to find yourself. You don't want to just do some soul searching to do some um, self-reflecting because it's like you feel like you might associate that with uh, no progress. You might associate that with slow movement. And maybe you're just like, I'm tired of dealing with that slow movement. You want to, you want some action. You want some results from this connection, right? So uh, that antelope spirit does come in where it's just like, this is the best way to get things speeding up is owning this snow leopard spirit. But you also have the extra card come in with the queen of pentacles for this energy, which you no other sign gets, usually gets. Um which is just, again, a card of solitude, uh, really kind of like similar to the snow leopard, but also emphasizing as taking care of yourself, um, more so just like focusing on your own health, focusing on your own, like what makes you feel good. Um, but yeah, enough of that though, right? I feel like I got, I really like went long there when it came to those messages but uh let's start pulling some cards now we're going to be pulling a card leo for you a card for them and a card for the energy between y'all two and then we'll just go from there with some clarifiers uh interesting cards coming in for y'all leo we have the king of fire on your side of things, right? I'm gonna read this off as well. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with a vision, Leo, and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So I would say more so when it comes to this connection, Leo, uh, it's kind of like a, this could be in two ways again of where it's like you're taking on this leadership role, you're the one finally putting action towards this connection, or this is a situation where you kind of have to set the tone. And I kind of feel like it's the latter. Um, because of, we have to keep in mind with these cards as well, where it's just like, you have to be like the one to be like, you know what, um, 
I have to put myself first here when it comes to this situation, Leo, right? And you tell that to the other person. Because maybe this is a situation, Leo, where you have to teach the other person on how you want to be treated or how you want this connection to go or what you want to get out of this connection. Um, maybe you have to be the one to set the tone for it and they will follow up with it. Um, that is something I'm definitely getting and something I just felt the need to say, Leo, for you. On their side of things, they are, they are the queen of water. This is where, and I'll read this card as well. Uh, this says, relationship develop to a new level, trust your intuition, and care for yourself or others. So it's kind of funny, uh, Leo, these two cards, because it's like this card says advice from someone creative, and this card is asking for them to care for other people, right? So it's almost just like, even with like these cards, it's just like you're the fiery energy, uh, Leo, and they're just like this watery queen. Like, I don't know. Can we just like take a moment to just appreciate how these two cards? I mean, obviously, gender doesn't matter. Like, look at me, honey. Like, the last thing I care about is y'all's gender and like sexual preference. Um, but can we just like appreciate like the tone of these cards and it's just like how they're just so like complete each other? Um, so we also have the Eight of Air as the energy between y'all two. Uh, this is a card of an illusions of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, and afraid to take action. This makes sense because, again, you know what I was saying before, Leo, of where I was getting like this sense of uh, perhaps like you feel like there's been like a stalemate when it comes to this uh, connection and you want more action. You're tired of feeling like there's nothing going on and that's why we have the antelope spirit come in telling you that life is speeding up so don't be impatient. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised if spirit brings forward like a temperance card for you Leo just because of how like uh, urgent this energy feels from your point of view. But let's start getting some clarifiers now Leo. Let's start pulling some cards for you on your side with this king of fire. Uh, let's see. Oh, three cards already came out for you. Back of the deck energy before you were looking at the clarifiers, though. Seven of Swords. So I do kind of see, like, this is an energy where, Leo, um, you do kind of have to set the tone. So I kind of just actually recently did a video on not allowing, like, toxic behaviors in your life, which I'll leave a link to if you want to check that out. It's a long video. But, you know, this is like an energy where it's like you have to teach them, Leo, how you want to be treated. Um, this lets me know where it is feeling like you maybe feel neglected in a sense or just like not considered in a sense um, from this person and maybe you're taking it personally which I understand Leo like it can definitely feel it personal but um, you know there's just like a saying we're constantly teaching other people how to treat us and I feel like you kind of just have to tell this person how you want to be treated so they will follow up with that because you have to give them the benefit of the doubt Leo maybe they don't know um what's bothering you or what you want right you kind of you can't expect people to be a mind reader if you haven't made it clear with uh by saying it Leo you can't expect them to do anything about it uh the clarifiers that I pulled for your king of fire though Leo uh, we have the Nine of Wands coming in here. So this is, a, I see this as like a lesser, I see the Nine of Wands as like a lesser version almost. Um, like the, like the individual on her path becoming the Queen of Wands. Um, I see this as a person where it's like, again, it's kind of like a push almost, Leo. And I know some of y'all might not like this, but I have to be honest with my readings, right? I do, there does seem to be a push with this connection, Leo, in that you might not get that much interaction when it comes to this person this week. I feel like this is more so a week where you want to work on yourself. You're going to be going on a journey on yourself to self-discovery a little bit. And once you get, come out on the other side of that, that's when you reconnect with them, right? But you have these other clarifiers where you have the Hermit card and the Eight of Wands, where it's like, again, like all this very much so solid, solitude energy, like Queen of Pentacles, solitude energy, Snow Leopard, solitude energy, Eight of Pentacles, solitude energy, where you're learning. And the Hermit card, honey, what does the Hermit mean, right? The solitude energy, Nine of Wands, solitude energy, right? <laughs> like, all, like... I feel like this is just, yeah, really just a week, Leo, just figuring yourself out, tending to yourself, 
and after you get to the um after you get through this week just focusing on yourself maybe just like learning whatever lessons that you need to learn think things through think about what it is that you want out of a connection or think about um you know what behaviors you want to allow in your life right then you come back into this connection from a different approach right if you choose to um but yeah let's get into their side of things now leo with this queen of water let's see what's up with them now hopefully i didn't step on y'all's toes with that leo i just want to be like i just see this really like the best way to really get things the ball rolling when it comes to this connection right with that antelope spirit is just some self-reflection some introspection um it may not make sense right now leo but i have a suspicion later on it's going to especially if you t uh, start telling them like what you want out of this connection i feel like you'd be pleasantly surprised by what would happen if you communicated uh, let's see now queen king of wands eight of wands six of wands back of the deck energy the world okay so <laughs> leo I mean, this is you. They, you, Beth, you are definitely in their thoughts heavily at this time. Um, I kind of see they. It's almost like Leo. I kind of see them kind of watching you from afar, even though like there's no page of wa uh, wa or not page of wands, no page of swords here that you would associate that more so with. I kind of see them being like, seeing with these two cards being like, wow, look at Leo go. Look at Leo, um, I mean, really, like you see this, like you see the line in the back too, as well with this deck. It's like, this is you. And this is like them just like reflecting being like, you know, this like staring at like this card just is like them staring it off in the distance. They're admiring your power. Uh, Six of wands here. They really just see you in such a beautiful light. Uh, Leo, I really feel like they would be understanding if you did communicate with them and set your boundaries. I feel like they would respect you for that. I feel like they would think very highly of you because of that, Leo. So if you are having some type of fear when it comes to communicating your wants, your desires, or what have you, this person would really receive it very well uh, for you because they just have a very high respect for you. They find you very admirable. Um... Yeah, and especially with the Queen of Water, and it says at the very beginning of this card, Leo, relationships develop to a new level and caring for other people. I really do feel like they, the relationship develops to a new level with you guys through you opening up and through you giving them the opportunity to sh show that they care. Um, I felt that. That was a little bit deep there, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, let's pull some cards, though, for this Eight of Air, for the energy between y'all two. So this is that card of being, like, an illusion of being trapped, which it does make sense. You feel like you can't maybe get work this, make this connection work out. Um, uh, lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action. And King of Fire talks about needing to take action, right? Um, I just enjoy how the, the, this reading is just all, like, all the way panning out. Uh, let's see here major arcana coming out for this so we have page of pentacles coming out so definitely this is the card of where it is like talking about communicating and it's like speaking what it is that you want showing your pentacle and being like you know this is what i want out of whatever right just communication right communication 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 um tower card comes in with the hanged man i really do feel like this is just a situation um leo of where it's just like people just you need to communicate um what's not working out for you what you don't like out of this relationship what you do like out of this relationship leo and when i say relationship I, in platonic or romantic i it doesn't matter which i just feel like there's just like a thing where it's just like you can't do like it feels like from your perspective leo that you feel like you can't do this anymore right? Like something needs to change. And you're absolutely right. But you need to communicate that, right? You need to communicate what changes that you want out of this connection, because it does seem like this person really wants to make it work. They see you and they respect you. They see you don't have this insecurity as if um, that they would think less of you or think little of you for setting these boundaries. I really do feel like they would just respect you even more because of this. And even put it in perspective, Leo, let's just think about this, even without tarot. 
if you're just opening up to somebody and being like, hey man, I really just don't enjoy when you do such and such and such, right? If you're just coming at it from a good place, like they shouldn't respond negatively about it because normally like if a friend comes to you with something that they're uncomfortable with, wouldn't they normally want to, as a friend, want to fix that in the first place, right? Just something to consider, right? Um, let's see, though. Let's see if there's any final thoughts with Tarot at all when it comes to this connection. I actually kind of want to get a little bit more, uh, pull a few more cards for you, Leo, just to see, like, a... What should you just be self-reflecting about? Because I feel like that might be a question for some of you, Leos, of uh, being like, okay, like, um, what should I self-reflect about this week before you take action, right? I feel like how I would take this reading so far, Leo, is just like self-reflect this week, figure out how, like, Hierophant, get in tune with your higher self, right? Um, five of Cups, put things in perspective. Um, I feel like this is kind of a card of forgiveness. Stop paying attention to the cups that were spilt. If there's, if they messed up in some type of way, if they triggered you in some type of way, forgive them, move on from it. Realize that they probably weren't tr intentionally trying to do that. Um, and then Strength card coming in. This is you, Leo. What's up? What's up? I always call this the, um, Shadow Work card, Leo. Uh, Ten of Swords as well. I feel like you just need to kind of, like, the biggest blockage or the biggest issue is, like, getting over whatever pain they caused you, if they caused some type of pain or whatever, like, triggered you. Whatever treatment that you didn't like, um, you kind of need to forgive them and move on from it and then communicate and being like, I don't like to be treated this way. I don't like to be spoken to in this way. Let's avoid that for the future. I feel like things are just going to pan out beautifully after that because they'll listen and be like, okay, moving on, right? And it'll just make you all closer. But yeah, Leo, that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Um, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then be sure to share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Leo, I love you so much. Bye.